Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with field hockey head coach Laurel Martin. And coach, two different types of games last week. First of all, winning in a big way against Hood at home. Right. Yeah, no, Hood was an exciting game. We got to um, let everybody on the team play, and everyone had a lot of energy, and it was an exciting win for us, obviously. Having everybody involved in those types of games is really important in getting the younger people and players right. um, some experience is mm-hmm. really valuable in this this season. It is, yeah. I mean, we have a we have a pretty large squad, and not everyone sees the field. We do actually get a lot more kids in the field than um, most other mm-hmm. schools, so we we try to do that. But it's good to see kids out there that don't normally see the field and see what they can do and and just raise the overall morale and energy on the team. Yeah, it definitely would lead to some optimism when right. more players get involved and contribute and score. Right. That was really exciting to see some of the younger players get on the scoreboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, Emma Adams made mm-hmm. her first official goal um, with, with little time left on the yeah. clock. And um, and that was a, a, a big goal for a lot of reasons. Mm-hmm. And um, so she was she was excited, and as was the team. Yep, and Rosemary had a really large game oh, there. Rosie had an outstanding yeah. game, so she, she knocked in quite a few goals. And um, I thought she had another one, but it was yeah, real close. It and was. It, it was um, an exciting uh, an exciting game for her and for her, her senior year to start to put it together and score a lot is, is neat as well. And then moving forward uh, in the week on Saturday, 2-1 to one in double overtime, another overtime finish for you guys. Yeah. Uh, tough one to take, but – what are the the points of you know that you can turn in a positive turn on on those that yeah. that performance yeah i mean i think that that game kind of simulates our season yeah. as a total this year um you know we just continue to work and work and um you just just luck doesn't fall our way or mm-hmm. the inability to um to put it all together mm-hmm. um we're just just a little bit shy uh, and and that is um, exemplary in our in our season as a total this year. So, um, but the kids just don't give up. They don't. They just don't. And we just keep. And and I know the coaching staff doesn't give up. That's not uh, part of our human nature. But uh, that sums it up. We've got a young, youthful group, and um, we want to have a great remaining two games to send off the upperclassmen, the seniors, with a smile. And we have a lot of opportunity for the future. You know, I have the privilege of having my office in the stadium. I get to see every team practice, yours being one of them. Okay. <laughs> and field hockey, they're running. You're working hard all the time. Right. And it, it shows in the games, too. It's just unfortunate that the ball isn't just kicking our way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got some some really key players on our team, mm-hmm. a lot of really key players that are sort of going through a slump right now. Yeah. And um, and that happens in sport. And I think what's going to be interesting to see is how do we rebound from that? How do mm-hmm. those individuals rebound from that? And if they can rebound, if they know that they will and that this is just something that we all go through in life, um, we, we've got a lot, a lot of positive things in the future. And looking at this week, you got Wilson this evening and mm-hmm. heading out to Lebanon Valley over the weekend. Right. So, first of all, let's talk about the Wilson game. It's out of conference. What does it do for getting back into the conference game, the, the type of a performance that you're looking for from tonight? Well, I mean, Wilson's going to be an exciting game for us because it's another opportunity to um, play hard and, and to get kids uh, to build some more confidence. Mm-hmm. And um, it will be interesting to me to see how we rebound and if we come out on fire and we and we do what we're capable of doing. Um, and if we do do what we're capable of doing, then we should have another situation similar to Hood where we can get a lot of kids to see playing time and to raise the morale again. And that ultimately is my goal, mm-hmm. but not something I can control I have to count on the kids to do that and hopefully that those efforts will translate into a performance on Saturday at Lebanon Valley with the morale being high right. and people having that work ethic and drive to, to continue what they've been doing all season long right I mean I think that the game at Lebanon Valley is is again going to be an interesting way to see how we rebound um, not having a chance at uh, playoffs at mm-hmm. this point in stage um, and and Lev Val still being in the mix um, how 
we might foil their opportunities. Yeah. And that's village. not the goal. Mm -hmm. The goal is not to foil Lebval. The goal is for us to play our top caliber game with the best players we can to finish the season high so that we can carry that momentum into the off season and, and carry that morale. And um, I, I think that's an evenly matched game. It could go mm -hmm. either way. And I look forward to seeing how we, um, how we play uh, today as well as on Saturday. And, Coach, we're looking forward to it as well. And best of luck on the pitch okay, uh, with you. both those games. She's Laurel Martin. I'm Joe Wamman. This has been the Coach's Corner. <laughs>